virtual reality makes your mind, tricks your mind into believing that somehow you are there. I was always thinking in the back of my mind, there must be another way to capture reality than just through the cinematic frame. A way that um, brings you more of a sense of presence, more of a sense of, of the presence of the people and the experience of the real space, the real environment. There must be a way to do that. Um, and so that was the trigger. So th uh, meeting Paul, who, who came from the fusion of cinema and technology world, I would say, uh, we started daydreaming about how we could do that. And it took about 10 years to be able to get there, basically. Felix and I are two uh, filmmakers initially uh, who have uh, started, uh, we started uh, exploring immersive storytelling. Uh, a few years ago now, and uh, that took us from uh, installations to uh, 3D cinema and eventually to, to virtual reality. Our studio here is about content creation, directing the content and assembling the content, post-producing the content, and we also have developed our own technology to capture the 360 degree uh, spherical uh, stereoscopic image. For the content that is tailor-made for virtual reality, which is what we are doing, so creating 3D 360 experiences, um, the time it will take to go to short to longer form content is going to be, uh, I think, longer. Why? Because first of all, I'm not sure to which extent people do actually want to wear a headset at this point for two hours. I'm not sure about that. And in terms of content creation, this is a very different medium to cinema. So being interesting for two hours is a challenge. Our goal was always to, to try and get the viewer closer to um, the action, so to speak. It doesn't have to be an action film, but closer to the characters and closer to the people, in the case of the documentary, the real people or, or the places that are usually happening uh, outside of, of, of your, your own personal experience. You're usually looking at something and you're not involved in any way. That doesn't mean that you, the world necessarily has to uh, look at you and talk to you, but to, to feel like you're a part of the space and, and, and physically near the characters or the people uh, puts you in an entirely different state of mind and that's that's what we've been very uh, interested, in, interested in exploring and what virtual reality has taken to a, an unprecedented level.